Hi there. Now here we have a question based on the equation of a circle and the geometry of a circle. So if you'd like a moment to read this and do the question if you haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So First of all, we've got to find out the exact value of k, k being the y-coordinate of the coordinates of the center of q. Let's just mark those coordinates in, first of all. We've got q has coordinates 11, k. And so how do we go about finding k? Well, what we do is we look at creating a right angle triangle here. O to Q to T. It's a right angle triangle because you should know that a tangent touches a circle and makes a right angle at that point of contact with the radius. And also what I'm going to do is look at creating a right angle triangle by dropping a perpendicular down onto the x-axis from Q. So we've got a right angle triangle in here. And what I can do now is work off both of these right angle triangles using Pythagoras' theorem and figure out what OQ squared is. And then, because it's going to occur in both equations, I can equate them together. And it will allow me to work out what K is. So that's the method, and we'll start on it. Okay, so let's just look then at part A. Well, first of all, then, I'm going to look at this triangle here and get an equation for OQ squared. By Pythagoras' theorem, OQ squared is going to equal this side squared plus this side squared. Well, this length is 11 units, so it's going to be 11 squared plus, and this height here is K units, so it's going to be plus K squared. And I'll number that equation 1. Next, I'm going to look at the triangle OQT. So we'll just say from triangle OQT. I'm going to look at using Pythagoras' theorem in this one. And we've got the hypotenuse, which is OQ again. So we've got OQ squared is going to equal the sum of the squares of these two sides. So that's going to be 6 root 5 all squared plus the radius here squared that's 4 squared and so working this out you should find you get 196 so I know that from 1 I can equate both these equations together they both equal OQ squared so therefore we've got 11 squared plus k squared is equal to 196. And that means that if I now subtract 11 squared from both sides, I end up with k squared being equal to 196 minus 11 squared. That gives us 75. So to get k, we want the exact value of k. So I just need to take the square root and that would be the root of 75. I could leave it like that, that's quite acceptable, but uh, it would be better if I broke it down anyway further. I can see that 25 is a factor of 75 and a square number, so this is the same as 25 times 3 rooted. And square root of 25 is 5, and we'll just leave that as root 3, 5 root 3 would give us the exact value of k. Okay, so that's part A. Now in part B, we've got to find an equation for the circle C. And we should be familiar with this form of the equation of a circle. If not, do check out the tutorials on my website about equations of circles. And that form is x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared, r squared, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of the center of the circle. 
Now we've got the coordinates of the centre of the circle. It's 11 and k, and k is 5 root 3, or root 75. So we're in a position then to give an equation for the circle, and that will be x minus 11 for the x coordinate of the centre of the circle. That's all squared, plus and then y minus y1, which is the k value, which will take us 5 root 3. And that is all squared, and that's equal to the radius squared. The radius is 4, so 4 squared is 16. And so that is an equation for C. So I hope that's given you some idea then how to tackle that question, should it have given you any problems.